What's going on guys? Time to talk about another So Bad It's Good film. Today I'm going to be talking about The Beast of Yucca Flats. Yeah, from 1961. It was released May 2nd, 1961, and it starring Tor Johnson, Douglas Malore, and Barbara Francis. It was produced, written, and directed by uh, Coleman Francis, who has uh, done a couple other B movies and stuff like Red Zone, Cuba, The Skydivers, This Island Earth, Mother Cycle to name a few, and a budget of around $34,000 at the time. Um, yeah, so The Beast of Yucca Flats is only about 58 minutes long, so it's a pretty short movie. Uh, it's sort of like a mockumentary creature feature horror thriller deal, and uh, yeah, it was interesting to watch because uh, it breaks the mold of modern filmmaking and stuff like that. Special and characters talk and stuff. There's not very much talking to it. Most of it's a narrator, but um, yeah. So basically, you follow a, a Russian scientist who ends up getting caught up in a nuclear explosion. And then uh, the radiation bur severely burns him and turns him into a bloodthirsty killer. So basically, this really big guy is running around in the desert with a massive walking stick. And he's slowly killing off some of the residents. And wreaking havoc and the police are trying to figure out what's going on they don't want to acknowledge it to the public but they soon have to and they get caught up in trying to help a family with these two young 12 year old kids who are trying to outrun them and trying to survive uh it's a neat little cheesy quirky film it's done in sort of like a mockumentary style where uh it's sort of like as if it was documented Seeing how it actually happened and stuff. Now the burns of effects and stuff on the guy. It looks like paper mache stuck to someone's face, which is probably what it was. But yeah, it was amusing. And uh, but the thing is, it wasn't too menacing. Like the, it was just a big dude running around killing people and stuff and trying to grab kids and stuff like that. It was really weird and odd. And one of the biggest weird parts of this whole film is it's like the director didn't know how to film proper conversation scenes so whenever like a character in the film is talking about like what's going on their backs are turned they're looking some or they're looking somewhere else and they're not looking straight at the camera or off to the side or anything like that it's from behind so i guess they did filmed it probably without sound because they probably overdubbed it for that reason but yeah overall though it's a fun entertaining little chase film um that's uh not too fast and pretty basic. I can see why a lot of people find this film enjoyable and stuff. I found it pretty enjoyable too. It was pretty funny and uh, amusing. It is in black and white, so some people probably won't even bat an eye at it because it's in black and white for some reason. But yeah, and it is a super low budget film. But like I said, it's short and it's like a fun little time. So if you have an hour to kill and you want to watch something really cheesy, throw this on. It's pretty fun and amusing. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5 just because I had a fun time watching it, even though how basic it was. They even go out of their way to make a really crazy monster. It's not like the Hills Have Eyes or anything like that. But this is probably one of the films that helped inspire those type of films too. So, yeah, just one of the many monster movies of the 50s and 60s that uh, had to do with radiation problems and stuff like that. And was, this one was more of a thriller type scenario and do it but also another big thing i just remembered wrong with this there's a lot of pointless characters that didn't need to be in the film which uh yeah you see like some random women just appearing and hanging out on set and then disappearing and you don't really hear from them uh and also one other big good parts is um that there's a lot of good nature photography in this as well so yeah Make sure you check this one out, and uh, yeah, if you can, if I can find it on YouTube, I'll post it online, like, click it down below and stuff, um, yeah, so definitely check it out if you find it, and it's fun, so yeah, there's a trailer link down below, like always, if you want to check that out, there's also my Instagram's link down below, where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my stories, so make sure you follow me there, I have the title and a hashtag, and the type of film it is, is always in the video clip as well, so make sure you follow me on Instagram to stay in the loop. And uh, make sure you like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. Uh, comment down below if you want to hear my opinions on any other films at all. Comment those down below. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can if I can find them. Make sure you subscribe because you never know what I'm going to talk about next. Who knows what crazy stuff I'm going to find. So, till the next one. Cheers.